How to be a happy person? God will work things out. In a world where the daily average increase between the happy and sad people everywhere widens, we pray that the joy of the Lord will make you happy. Then no matter what country you live in, happiness, well-being, and satisfaction will happen. God will work things out for the best. Who among us does not want to be a happier person? This simple ultimate guide will show you how to be happier. One of the secrets of a happier life is this. Have just the essential things than having way too much of wasted, worthless, and unnecessary things. That attitude allows you to focus on what matters, the road to a happier person. We want to have more. Younger people have an ambitious urge to have what they want. As we get older, we discover that wanting less and to treasure what you have makes you happier. That's the spiritual way. In the race for a multitude of things, things that we want, the Bible says, listen, God shall supply all of what you need. You may want, but do you really need it? Another guide right there to a happier life. You might not be happier or happy now. Things might look hopeless. Believe and trust in God. God can turn things around. The best conclusion ever is on the way. Believe that. Never forget that God is always at work with help and answers for everyone who loves Him. God will work things out for the best. God tells us to be happy more times in Scripture than any other command. Please subscribe to our channel. Just press the subscribe button on the screen and receive notification of our next video. It's free. And please share this video with your contacts. Is your country a happy country? What is a happy country? One where its citizens can have a healthy life expectancy, high income per year, social support in times of trouble, the freedom to make important life decisions through freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of the press. A country with little or no intergroup social tensions or state corruption. A country where citizens get prompt delivery of state and local services. Who is a happy person? Did you know that some of the wealthiest people are the most miserable? Some of the poorest people are happy. Question. Who is a happy person? Answer. A person who has direct access to both help and hope. The benefits of help and hope. Psalm 146 verse 5 says, Happy is the one whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Let us look at direct access to help first, and then we look at hope. When you can get help when you need it, that can make a difference for a person to be happier and happy right now. Families help one another. That principle and upbringing in most homes is a prime reason for a happy family and happy family members. We cannot exist or progress as self-made islands. Many people and their accumulated wisdom have helped and supported us in our past and to this day. But what about the countless times when no one stood by you, no one lifted a voice in your defense? Like the drowning man, you cry to God for help. God is our refuge and strength, and He helps you. He gives you strength and courage to keep on keeping on. Happy are you when you have God for your help. Your confidence and happiness will come from God. So we talked about the importance of help in making a person happy and happier. Now, what is it about hope that makes a person happy? Hope is our confident expectation that God will fulfill His promises to us. That is another guide to how a Christian can be happy and a happier person. Hope in God. Hope is based on God's promises. So, I'll catch you if you fall. Psalm 37 
22 to 24 says, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of our lives. Though we stumble, we will never fall, for the Lord holds us. He holds us by hand. Hope is a crucial part of our faith. It allows us to live fulfilled lives, happy lives, happier lives. Believing God's promises helps us see different angles of the challenges and opportunities that come across our life path. We begin to see real development and unfolding of God's plan in our lives, and so we are happy and happier. With help from God and hope in God, things will work out for the best. Hope in him and help from him empowers us to endure suffering with the sure knowledge that all night we may cry, but when morning comes, we will celebrate. The help and hope from our God is our joy. That is a sure recipe for a happy person, no matter what the country of birth or residence or adoption. There is a link between a happy person and a happy country. Families are composed of individuals. Countries are composed of families. So it is so important to grow up in a religious household. Women are more religious than men. Our mothers are central to our faith. They show and teach families about prayer, about Bible reading, about church attendance. Women do a better job of teaching us the traditions and practices of our faith and Christian heritage. They are better at teaching family history and priorities in life. Mothers show and teach us to hold on to hope and to reach out to God for help. May families arise like giant trees, happy and blessed, with deep roots, trusting and confident in the Lord. When the heat comes, their leaves will remain green. When drought comes, they will not worry. Let happy people grow happy families, families that are prolific in progress and contribute to happy countries, and make this world a happy place happier place, a better place. Until we meet again at Joel's Place, the Spiritual Lounge, Oasis, Auckland, have a great life and a better day. Thank you.